Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Munchies Weekly episode 1. I'm your host Shah and in this show I'll take you behind the scenes of Munchies and what it truly takes to run a fast food chain. Come on inside, let me introduce you to the people that make this dream work. Follow me. So this is uh, Ayas. Ayas, what was your name? Ayas Ayas How long you been How long you been with Munchies? Four years. Four years. Four years. So Ayas has been with us for day dot four years. Just before we let them pull the recipes of you. Yeah. Everything good. Everything good. Yeah. Right, let's go, let's go see Shah, let's see what Shah's up to. Shah, what are you up to? Uh, you know, we're having a problem uh, now, you know, the nozzle of this Pepsi machine, oh, yeah, the nozzle of the Pepsi machine is, you know, lost. Maybe it should be under the table somewhere. What's, what's the nozzle? Can you show the viewers what the nozzle yes, is? Yes, of course, nozzle is this part which, you know, holds these drinks just, to just, come just drop in there. Out. Yeah, so what I'm doing now... Oh, Shah's biceps aren't working right now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, he's been put to the test. <laughs> what the hell is going on, mate? <laughs> yeah, so I'm putting it on Pepsi because Pepsi is the most busier drink for us so that customer can have the Pepsi correctly and Apple is, you know, comparatively less busy. So what happens when we customer is started pouring this drink? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you didn't even give me no warning. <laughs> right, so have a look at all this mess, yeah? Look at all that mess. Absolutely shocking. So all that's caused by this being missing, right? Right. Okay. 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 So right. Well, good luck with finding it. Yeah. Sure. All right. Cool. Yeah. We got we got some customers here, mate. You just want to avoid that apple and uh, black currant because it's uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all right. It does the job, but it's kind of squirting, squirting right now. Oh. Right. So let's go speak to Faz. Um. You know, our boss man manager. Let's go speak to him. See what he's saying. Hey. Let's speak to Faz. Faz. What's going on? Very busy right now, bro. Just frustrated. Faz is frustrated, man. Why are you frustrated? frustrated? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so we just got very busy. We one of the systems were down earlier on, and we just got a load of 20 customers just coming all together now. So I'm just getting the fillets down before you fall behind. We're 10 minutes behind on the fillets now already. So, so Faz is on it as he always is. How, how many fillets yeah. have you put in? I've put in six fillets now. Okay. Um, because we, we've got some and we've got some uh, extra customers just coming now. So the demand goes high for our fillets, but we make a fresh to order. So we've got to get them on straight away. Brilliant. Since we started making fresh to order, our wait time's gone a bit like it's extended, hasn't it? It has, it has, but the quality's gone up even more. Right. The customers are loving it. So brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant, man. Right. But it's stressful. Friday night it is how it is. That's it, man. Hope you feel better, man. I will do soon. I will do soon. What do you want? Do you want a hook? Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. I'm happy now. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, my waistline was showing. Right, let's go. So, this is the lead. He's our cereal griller. Uh, he's super smart. You have to say his name as well. He's doing bits right now. What are you doing right now? Uh, making a chicken supreme, making a chicken supreme from there. Yeah. And look at this, yeah. Guys, let's take a moment to like, appreciate that. Wow, these are part of our new menu wings that we've actually put onto Uber Eats just to kind of, you know, give us a bit of a practice in the kitchen and before putting it officially on the menu. But that's actually um, an order. But Ahmed, Ahmed, you're right to put on the three more lemon and herb wings, right? Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, that gives me the opportunity to try these wings. Dilip, do you want to dig in with me? Listen, this is the definition of a good wing, right? Watch this. Oh, let me eat, yeah. Why are you coming so close? I'm finished. Okay, watch this, watch this. Look at that. Come on. With one finger. This is to see if everyone in here is doing their bits, yeah? You get the wing, you go like this. So this is a big wing as well, right? Mm. Wow, that is delicious. 
Yes, that is amazing. Are you sure? So, you see the in chicken wings, right? There's two types of wings. You've got these, right? Which is called, which I call the two ball wings anyway. Some people call it tits. And these are called niblets, right? Two types of wings, right? Now, with these wings, at least they've got more bone in it, or for whatever reason, they come off the bone much easier, right? If you look at it, I can literally take it all off the bone, and look, it falls off the bone, right? Absolutely delicious. With these, they can't, right? It's much more of a tougher meat, but it still kind of falls off, but it doesn't fully, fully fall off. But let's see what this one's saying. Bang. Bang. Do we stick to all two bone wings or do we do a mixture of two bone and nibble? Uh, but, when, but when we ask customers and we did our market research, it's literally a huge 50 50 split. Some people like nibblers, some people like the two, two bone wings, so you have to do both. You know what? I prefer the two bone personally, but I'll still keep the nibble. It's, 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 if it's sauce and moist, though, if you look at this chicken, right? This is broken from it, I've just broken it off. It just breaks, right? That's the whole idea. Your wings should break. Okay? It should literally like melt in your mouth. You see that? So that's that. But I feel like, yeah, you know, I've given that its run for the money now. It needs to go in a bit. Right, so um, so uh, let's let's check Sofia now. Let's see what he's up to. Sofia, what are you up to, mate? I'm going to make uh, two protein shakes now. Two protein shakes. Why do you think the customer wants to have a protein shake? They might be going to the gym. They might want to work out and they, they want to treat, but they don't want too much sugar. Maybe. That's clever. What's uh, 8 times 8? Uh, 64. What's uh, 64 minus 25? Uh, 49. No. What was the question? That, uh, you failed. I don't even know what the answer is to be honest, but come follow me. <laughs> Mo's at it again, giving excellent customer service. Look at him. Customers got a smile on their face. Everything's going all right. But look, you've got underperformers here, right? Just stood around, thinking they're hard and talking. Get to work. Serial killer. Look, happy customers here. Faz, look at his fresh feet. Look at that. Listen, less than two millimeters. All I'm saying, look, all I'm saying is, yeah, Faz knew he was going to be on the camera today. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Do by the looks of things. I didn't even know about this. <laughs> what barber shop? <laughs> yes, lads, what's going on? Uh, we're live, we're live, we're live. You're live, yeah? I'm Cam live. Camera's rolling, yeah? Camera's yeah. Rolling. Wicked, wicked. What have you ordered? Listen. Oh, you, you finished already? What, what did you order? I had a double bro, yeah? Woo. Let me tell you why. I got a double bro because no, I got no, the double more. No, no, I need a double more. I just need a double more. It's a freestyle team. I got a double bro. I got a double bro and it was it was amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you telling him to relax? Obviously, I was boy for Chesterfield Football Club today. Tell them again. Listen, listen. I feel like people need to respect me because I've just been signed for an academy. He's been signed for an academy as a ball boy. <laughs> good man, good, good, good. So, um, what, what team do you score? Shepherd United. Yeah, Are they doing alright? Yeah, I'm actually yeah. Norwich. Do you, do you still sport? No. Norwich is shit though, all right? Ah! Turn up the camera. Try the wing. 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 Try the what is this sauce? Hold on, hold on, let me try, let me try, let me try. I'm resurrected. If I show your mother, if I show your mother, she will be surprised. Wow. Can you back it though? Oh, hey. Glasses of Kumar. Oh, hey. 
What's it saying? Composure! Composure! Yeah. Composure! Composure! Yeah. 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 Composure! 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 As you can see, we are having a little bit wild situation here, household, and we have some situation over there. Somebody fillet, you know, sauce fillet. So I'm gonna sauce looks like mi milkshake. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's milkshake. Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. I, I thought this looks like garlic mayo. Yeah. So you know, I've done this bit, and I will tell uh, I will tell Sufyan to give this a quick mop there. Shaw's a very good actor. I swear, a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, Sean, what else is going on? How's it going in the kitchen? Yeah, kitchen is on full swing. There are lots of orders have... on this screen. There are lots of orders cooking up and lots of orders are already made up, ready to collect. So it's, it's busy in the kitchen now. It's been great. Good man, good. Everything under control though, yeah? Yeah, everything under control. Pass is okay. managing the kitchen now and everything is going smooth. Okay, okay, okay. Good stuff. And um, other than that, um, I think it's a bit busy, so we don't want to distract too many people. But uh, what do you think? Should we go into the kitchen? Yeah? This is what I hate. There's no reason for leaving hot water on. Who did this? Sophia, come here. Why is the hot water been left on? Oh, I didn't leave it on. Who left it on then? I don't know. So I think someone was like washing their hands. So it's not you? No. So who is it? I don't know. I just cleaned the trays and I just went and now I came back here. Mo. Hello. Did you leave the tap on? No. Why? How's the tap on then? What tap? That's up there. There's this section, so I don't know why you complain to me. This is what I mean. Where this is what I mean. Right, Tina, what's going on? Hello, um, Tina, what's, what's with all them receipts there? <laughs> there have been many coming in like just the past five minutes. Okay. And I'm trying to sort them out. Okay. I'm just sending this now. Have, have, they, have, they, have they been pushed through to the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, they have. Okay, okay. Good, I just good, need good, to give good, them good. some charges. Excellent. So yeah, pushing through to the kitchen, what I meant by that was we have an integration, right, with a company called Deliveroo. And what, not Deliveroo, what am I talking about? <laughs> we have an integration with a company called Deliverect. So, um, what that means is when receipts come out on Just Eat, they go straight into the kitchen without us keying it in again. Now, for those business owners that are watching, they'll understand what I mean. It's a, like, because we don't offer, operate by receipts. Um, in a normal environment, you'll have to type it all up again, whereas ours just go straight to the screen. Oh, Aki's, Aki's at it. Aki's at it, working hard. So if you look here, if you look here, we got all these orders. We got six more orders on that side. That order's already made 14 minutes, so we need to sort that out. Uh, but yeah, you can see all these times here, which are not so great, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Burgers are coming through. Also, I think we'll be all right, you know, for the sake of confusion and to make the space better, sources are going to come with more flat down there. So what we do, we put the burger on there, put the sauce to, to the We're missing something. Are you sure? What are you up to, mate? So, we have a new menu coming out, and uh, on there we've got um, many different items, but with new additions to the menu, there's, a, there's always a thing that you have to think through, is how do we package it? Right? How do we package it so that not only does it fit into our bags, but it also is uh, in the best condition when the customer receives it, and what the system is going to be, what the process is going to be, because sometimes if um if it's you know if, if it's a bit like long-winded and you know it's, there's a lot to learn and if it's not simple it'll just slow down the kitchen and customers you know from receiving the order in seven minutes they're receiving 10 15 minutes so that's what we're looking at now so right now we've got full chicken in here with two sides but you know when you kind of test things out really this is the difference between theory and practice right theory and practice two very different things so um so now the full chicken is there but we can't fit all else in there so what we've discussed is we're going to fit coleslaw here so what i've created here is the four types of chicken we're going to serve a butterfly or a half or full right on its own with one side and with two sides how are we going to serve it so so far where we've got to is for a full chicken we're going to put it in the large box on its own with the coleslaw nothing else 
uh, four chicken with one side. Again, we're gonna do the same thing, but just have the side separate. And for the two sides, same, just keep it separate. When that goes lower, we might need to get a jug. We can either warm milk and then put it in, or we can just put the sauce in there. Without that way, without practical. You know, you know the thing is, Abra, right? Yeah, I'm looking for a job. So, uh, looking for a job? Okay. Uh, what's your name? Ella. Huh? Ella. Ella. Okay. Hello. We're not putting that much flavor. Exactly. It's nice. Let, let, let the brother answer it. Uh, we can't keep this one. Because that's too small. Uh, would, you, would you rather have half a chicken like this uh, or would you rather have it here as a customer? Nothing, nothing like a, without rice or anything. Without rice or anything. So I won't prefer that because if you keep it like this, it will go on like this. Uh, uh, if I see a customer, uh, if I keep getting this one, I think like it's nothing is there, like it's a little bit. Uh, we'll think about, but uh, we'll think about oh, uh, this job giving like small things. Giving small portions because yeah. the box is too big. Yeah. So which box would you end up using? Would you say that one's okay? Yeah. You'd be happy with seeing this. This also like, this also like, this this also like a small one. Uh, we, if we're getting <laughs> that is an interview on the spot that's gone well oh listen guys and I, I know i know we've got another scene yeah but i've just look at that burger like, are, we, are we all right to record that burger can, can you just bring the camera here like, can we just take a moment to appreciate that what the hell wow do you want to take a bite we'll get it on camera go for it mate go for it give us a live reaction come on go for it Look at that. The finest grass fed beef. That's good. You got the yeah? Cheese, so what's it saying? Yeah. Nice. Is, it, is it juicy? Yeah? yeah? Any other words to describe it? Delicious. Is it better than your ex? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> right, so back to this. So, um, Shah, if you could um, get Alan um, a trial shift booked in for tomorrow. So, Alan, with trial shifts, how we do it is you come in for two hours, um, you. Um, kind of just give your best. We'll be able to see if you're, you know, well oiled out, and you, you know, you can do the job. And after that, we'll be able to take all your details uh, and, and go from there as well. And, um, um, and and what we have, we have a link, a link what Shah will send you. And when you click on that link, it'll, it'll come up with a Google form. And on that form, you kind of just type in all your details, your bank details, your NI number, all your name, and everything like that. And then after that, that's it. Like it'll, it'll just prevent us from kind of chasing you around for any pieces of information. Everything's on there. Um, and and guys, that's that's one thing that at a later episode I'll show you guys how to kind of make, you know, for for the other business owners out there. Um, you know, since we brought that in, it's made our operation so much more streamlined uh, because we don't need to chase new stuff for our bank details today, or we forgot to get your address, or we need your address now. It's all done. It's all done in one place. And whenever I need to do payroll, um, all I need to do is literally click on the link and the, Alan's bank details are going to be there and I can just uh, pay the wages, providing you do your bits tomorrow in the trial shift all right so um um so yeah sure if you can sort that out okay but it'll give you a tour now okay uh and then um, we'll go from there all right and um other than that guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode um you know we we literally want to give it to you raw and real uh, as much as possible we want to we want to bring a lot of enjoyment, uh, bring some entertainment, but also give you the behind the scenes of what it actually takes to run a fast food chain, right? Uh, it's not as simple as just putting a burger on the grill and that's the end of the story. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot more to it, but I'm happy and our team is, is competent enough and we will um, help other business owners out there that watch this um, to kind of um, get somewhere. I just got distracted because the music just went so high. We need to get a system to sort that out as well. What the hell? But anyway, guys, cut and uh, you know, catch you on the next episode. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Take care.